Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, well the um, sun is actually intensifying there's a lot of solar flare activity and I wanted to explain something because a lot of people are uh, asking what exactly does the solar flux do so this is space weather I'll leave this uh, page in the description below if you want to check it out great place to check uh, what's happening with the sun so, of course, the sun has a direct interaction with our hobby because it can either make it bad or make it much better. It could change in minutes. And uh, it has to do with its activity, its cycle, 11-year cycle on average. So today there's a lot of flare activity uh, happening. Uh, but one of the numbers that is interesting on the... Uh, sun when we uh, look at solar reports is this here solar flux or sfu solar flux is a take take this as an indication of the amount of energy that the sun is actually sending out the solar flux is measured at uh, somewhere around 2500 megahertz or 400 megahertz or something like that uh, it's 10.7 centimeters of uh, wavelength, basically. And what they do is, technically, it's as uh, easy as they just measure the amount of noise that they're getting from the sun. And that amount of noise is directly um, in relation with how active the sun is in general. The solar flux goes from 60 to about 400 at its highest. And the higher it is, what does it mean exactly for our hobby? So in the solar minimum, we were close to the 60. We were 66, 65, 67, 70, 72. That's very low. And that number actually kind of indicates how densely ionized the ionosphere is, where the signals bounce. The higher the solar flux, the more the um, ionosphere is dense and usually that means that higher frequencies propagate better so and the solar minimum um, an example is 10 meters the 10 meter amateur band or even the CB band you'll notice that it's very quiet doesn't have much activity in terms of you know um, signals coming in from far away from skip they'll have some but that's different phenomena that's going to give it now, we are at a solar flux 153. If you go to 10 meters or the CB band, you'll notice that every day during the day, there's activity from far away. And that's because the higher the solar flux, the higher the frequency that is reflected off the ionosphere. So that's one thing. If you see the solar flux rising, check out the highest frequencies on the shortwave spectrum. In the daytime, you might hear a lot of stuff. The other thing also to note is that it also enhances the nighttime listening because since the ionosphere is denser, it also stays a little denser during the night. So it improves the overall radio listening experience on shortwave pretty much on the 24-hour clock. So check this number. It's not the only number that you have to check to understand what it um, what's happening with you know our hobby with propagation and all, but that's the first number you should actually know check out regularly if it rises chances are if nothing bad uh, nothing else bad is happening propagation might actually be quite good especially on higher frequencies if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching